This is my unboxing for my Imagination Mails subscription, my Fairy Tale Plus box. And I do have a giveaway for this box. It's for people in the United States only, and the link will be with my written review in the description box. So be sure to click that and register to win. Uh, the winner gets a free box. So that will be shipped directly from the company. The cost of this box is $39.95 a month, and it's a box for kids. It's personalized, like little, per, you know, put your child's name on it, and your child gets weekly postcards with the plus box. That's what I'm unboxing, and along with crafts, games, toys, stickers, a monthly calendar, and more. And if you want to sign up, I do have a 25% off coupon to save on your first box. So let's check it out. So the side comes with all kinds of different characters, and they feature new ones in each box. So this is addressed to both of my boys. So here's a letter and I'm going to slowly scroll up here so you can pause it as you want and um, read this. So this is from Mother Earth and Mother Nature. It talks about Mother's Day, important dates in May, Father Time is mentioned in here. So that's always fun for your kids to get a little letter. Next up, we have some science experiments from May 2018, and this is divided up in weeks, and each one has a new um, craft that you can do at home. Looks like pretty basic in um, ingredients needed, bowls, Epsom salt, paint brushes, nothing really weird. Cabbage leaves, you know, if you don't eat cabbage very often, that, that may be a little bit harder, but everything else looks pretty, um, pretty common. We have Jack Frost, um, Jacqueline Frost, which is Jack Frost's daughter, Ice Cube Rescue, Jacqueline Frost's Frosted Glass, Mother Nature's Amazing Cabbage Patch, and Mother Nature's Fool Me Not Smell versus Taste. Those are some fun ideas you can do during the month. This is for the Grown Up Helper. So this is a list of all the contents that comes in the box. So this is for any grown up of the children this is sent to. There's also safety things like if it includes a snack they would they would indicate if it has peanut allergies. Oh, okay so here is a little assessment sheet. So there's all kinds of different skills like pre-running skills, high eye, uh, hand eye coordination, critical thinking, fine motor, etc. It gives a description on what is the task and then it tells you what box item that's associated with. This is neat. This is a new item. I like this. So this tells you how this box is beneficial for your child. It's not just a box of fun stuff. It has a purpose and can help them develop some of the skills that may be more difficult and do it in a fun way. That's fun. I like that. Okay. Now we have the calendar. We have one for May, one for June, and if you look on here, there's just fun dates. Let's find one. The 21st of June is National Go Skateboarding Day. So all kinds of fun things like that. So we like to cut these in half and hang them on my kid's door so they can check it out each day. All right, let's see what's in here. Ooh, this is, looks fun. This is catching my eye. This is like one of those mermaid pillows. Oh, these are fun. So you can push the sequence in different ways to make different colors. What is this? Sequin animals. So we got this little pink snake. I like that. Very fun to play with. Ruckus Junior Edition. See it, match it, steal it. Collecting card sets is the aim of the game. It's holding on to them that's the trick. So it looks like you can steal other people's cards. I have also been into that. And I can this will probably go in our camper. We like to put lots of games in our camper, so in case we get, you know, a rainy weekend or something, we'll have things to do. It says this improves concentration, critical thinking, trained visual memory, increased short-term memory, increases attention to detail, improves the ability to find similarities and differences in objects, which are all early math elements. All right, what is this? Is this his fun? It's a little squishy thing. This 
is the Squeeze Jelly Octopus. This has little foam beads inside, which you can see. This works on fine motor skills, uh, squeeze grasp, scientific cause and effect, and right brain development. Plus, it's really fun to just squeeze. Having a bad day, somebody made you mad, just squeeze the little octopus. I'm gonna put him back in here before he falls and gets all dirty. Next, we have another little squishy, different texture. It's like foamy and squishy at the same time. The little duck. And there's a little string on it, so you could hang it from something if you wanted. But it's a fun little sensory toy. My kids are really enjoying rubber ducks lately. Um, one of the yellow ducks they saw this video on YouTube of this guy playing like this fun little prank with rubber ducks. And uh, so they've been all about ducks lately. These are my fairy tale conversation cards for dinner conversation starters. This works on verbalization, curiosity, confidence, group dynamics, listening, taking turns, explanations, and clarifications. So, so here's one. The May Queen asked if you could turn anyone into the queen or king of the world, who would you pick? and why. And they're double sided so several of these fun to use for dinner conversations to pass the time so your kids aren't asking to watch the TV. Alright this little bag is designed to be decorated and um, I guess there's a puzzle in here you can put in to carry around as well. Alright looks like we have some crap. So we have some little wood kits right here. You can attach the little eyes, color them in, and they're fun little ornaments. Or you can hang them in your window. Definitely work on fine motor skills with those little markers. We have some foam stickers here. And I imagine this is what um, kids can use to decorate that little tote bag. Some butterflies in here. And yeah, it looks like some lizards. Yeah, lizard, frog, alligator. Color in. Shaped puzzle kit. So it looks like we have a giraffe in here and a monkey. Those are the puzzles that you get. There's some pom-poms, eyes, markers, and looks like some sequins in here. I think that's what they are. Yeah. Little shiny sparkly sequins that you can use to decorate these. And then you can put the puzzle in the little bag. I have some note cards and envelopes, and these have been in every box. They're nice because they're just blank on the inside. They're just colored cards, so they can write them to anybody for any reason. Birthday cards, that kind of thing. Really fun. And there's a set of fine, mo fine point markers to use to write with. Oh, this is neat. Fancing Bears, We Love Our Mom. And, oh, we love our dad. So Mother's Day and Father's Day are covered. Two books in one. I like that. I used to have all kinds of these books when I was a kid. Actually, I probably still have them. And my kids have several. It's like a very easy book for my oldest one to read. So maybe he can read it to all of us. We have some amazing animal stickers. 290 of them. Look and see what's in here. Because I like those. Yeah, 
have more crafts here. This is tissue acetate daffodils craft kit. So what it looks like, this um, we had a similar craft in a past box, but basically you have a clear piece. Um, it goes on the center here and then you glue the tissue paper to that and it's kind of a stained glass effect. You can kind of see in there. And then we have another one. All right, this is what you're gonna make. I stepped outside and what did I see? Red little ladybugs, as cute as can be. Can you count their spots with me? That's what it is. Oh, okay. The green sheet is what your child's gonna use to trace their hand and they're gonna cut it out and use that for where the ladybug is gonna be. Look, tall um, pieces of grass. This is a nice, not only a fun craft, but something you can keep to show how big your kids' hands were. And then we have a cute little pen. We put this on their backpack, wherever. <coughs> All right, and that is everything in the box. So this is packed. A lot of craft oriented items this month, which is nice because it's getting to be the end of the year. So kids are gonna be getting out of school and you know, two days into summer vacation, they're gonna be bored. Maybe even sooner. So this is a great box to pick up. And really there's so much stuff in here. Two kids could share it. As long as they don't don't fight over who does what craft. But lots of stuff in here. If you want to sign up, coupon code is down below. My kids always enjoy playing with the items that they get in this box. Don't forget about my giveaway. You can win a free box. That link is going to be in the written review, so be sure to click on that. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and then you can click to enter. Super easy. If you wanna check out my free box list, that's down below as well. Thanks for watching and have a great day.